care about me right now. Y'all should have seen him a little while ago. But shout out to everybody that's coming in. My to my talk about programs. God damn, y'all. Now what y'all looking at right here? These are uh pure pure red boy Jocko puppies. Look at him. That's Humpty. That's Mr. Humpty doing what his name says. That's the first pick male right there. That little that little sucker there always trying to get into something. He just like me. He is just like me, dog. That's the first pick male. That's Mr. Humpty right there. Humpty Dumpty. First pick male. Now, uh, these right here, though, they pure red boy Jocko. Pure red boy Jocko. And uh, I titled this little live stream right here, Building Your Own Yard from Scratch. And um, these are the type of dogs you want to build your yard with. Yeah, he is bumping, man. He is bumping. Yeah, but these are the type of dogs you want to build your yard with. They um always be going at it, man. Always. They just they ate already. And they they come in here and they want to eat uh my my gyps food. But um pick hey, hey, should they Maya, go pick up, hurry up, pick up that blow dryer. We just gave him a bath, had to blow dry him off. That's what like my old lady like to do <clears throat> after we bath them or whatever. So they fresh and clean. <clears throat> but yeah, so these are the type of dogs you want to build your program with. Dogs like this, tight dogs. You know what I'm saying? You know, you always want to take your tight stock and outcross it to other tight stock, man. You know, and these are these are program. These really are program building dogs. You know, these ain't you know necessarily dogs just just for hunting. You know, to be straight up, these really to build your yard up. You know, where you ain't got to really leave out your yard. You could take one of these and build your whole yard, really. Really, you know, with one with one of these, you know. You ain't got to do all that extra stuff like some of us be doing, including me. You know, you ain't got to do all that. You can take a dog like this and build your yard up, you know. These little dogs, see, my old lady be around them more than I do, but they always going at it. She said they bad as hell. I don't be around them as much. But... You know, she see somebody did that to the, to her. Oh shit! They and uh, but yeah, these little dogs here are what you call program starters, cause you know you want to start off. You start off a certain way, and then and you finish off way different from how how you started. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Tony Brown? And so these little dogs here. These little dogs here good for somebody that's trying to build a program based off of their own breeding efforts. Now you got other cats, they're not trying to really build a program, they just want hog dogs that can be used and shit like that. You know, that's that's uh, you know, uh, competitive dogs, you know what I'm saying? For competing. Some people want their straight up competing. They want outcross dogs. Dogs already crossed up, you know what I'm saying? So these right here is for the people who who are into breeding up their own bulldogs and uh and having a good you know good percentage rate you know what i'm saying and good consistent traits when you get dogs like this you can you can you start to lock it lock in and home in on consistent traits what's good mr joey i like that jip you got over there man she looking good bro i subscribe to you uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this Humpty right here, he y'all missed it. He was humping as soon as we, as soon as we start recording. He start humping. <laughs> he is shit sh time, shit time. Little entertainer there. But yeah, these little dogs here gone. They gonna be good for the for programs. They so they so tight, man. You know, that's why dogs like this. You know, they they be a little high. If you notice, kennels like Pi. Time or you know, or even uh, Macho Buck or different, you know, different people. If you notice, they uh, they are you know, a lot of their breeding would be, you know, back into the blood they run and the blood they run, they breed it tight and pure on what they running. Whether it's Chinaman, Boomer, Rascal, Red Boy Jocko, um, you know, what I'm saying Red Boy Jocko, Bully or Tombstone, Macho Buck, whatever, you know. And so that's what these are. These are bred up on. 
a blend and combination of Boomer and Thug. You know what I'm saying? Both of those dogs were producing dogs. And if you can agree that Thug produced, and if you can agree that Boomer produced, that's what these dogs are uh, uh, bred on. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> these typical Red Boy Jocko dogs, very soft, soft fur. God damn. These came out better than um, when I did uh, Little Yellow Man Andromeda had like had like two or three come out with underbites. One of them had a bad underbite, you know, out of like eight. And that breeding was extremely tight. So this breeding to me is tighter than that one, but you got Leo in the middle and uh, Leo got that burns. So it makes it a little bit different. But what I know is about these puppies, they don't have no underbites. No, you know what I'm saying? Issues with their paws. They perfectly healthy. Good little puppies, you know what I'm saying? For it to be this tight. So I got a feeling this little breeding here. I keep my uh, expectations low, and I like that for the outcomes to be high. So I think this little breeding here, there you go. There you go. I think this little breeding here is going to turn out better than I expect, you know, for a foundation-type breeding, you know. So, uh... This who this is? This the little male, I think. This is one of the males. Is this Humpty? Yeah. Wait, is this? Is, I don't. Wait, no. Yeah, that's the male. That's one of them. That's Humpty right there. I think that's him. Yeah, that's him because he got that little white on his nose. Mr. Humpty there. God damn, boy! Y'all should have seen early before I start recording. Boy, they was biting the shit out of me, man. I almost pulled my beard off. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm gonna see how I got my uh. I got the new bitch in here with me. She a bulldog, man. I'ma see how she how she react to these puppies, man. I'ma see. So y'all get to see that shit straight up from the jump. You know? Ah shit. She bit me. I was donating my shirt to him, but they ain't take no interest into it. My shirt got holes in it. Work shirt. Let me see. This the this the male? Yeah, this this a couple of them. We got a few more like this outside. Yeah, this is female. This female. See, this is the type of these some of the type of dogs you want to invest in. They they a little higher because they, you know, they on the special edition side. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it'd be worth it in the end. So I'm gonna break out. I'm gonna break out my my, my big my big jip. Oh, she cool. She cool. She ain't tripping so far. Oh, let's see. She, I don't know if she... I ain't seen around food. She might be food aggressive. Yeah, she uh, she straight with him, though. Look like she got her tail curled. Uh, back, back. Back, back. Look, look. Yeah, she ain't... She don't trust him. Come here. This is a test for her, y'all. Oh, she's straight, dog. She let them get that close to the food. My other dogs, they ain't gonna let them do that. <laughs> Include, <laughs> including their mama, you know? We had to damn near, we had to damn near make the mama stop doing it. So, uh, these some greedy little puppies, bro. They just ate. You can see they full as hell. They still trying to eat. That's how you know they gonna get big. This the, uh, Heavy red boy, Jim. Big bitch, boy. Big bitch. Big bitch. I don't keep no paraphernalia on me, dog. I ain't got no paraphernalia. Yeah, so see, these dogs, all these, with these dogs here, from the big bitch, uh, desire to... Mr. Humpty and his little mates here. What they share in common is, um, damn, she knocked that out. I'm gonna give her some more. She been eating all day, y'all, so I don't wanna hear no complaining about her size. Take time to put on weight, you know. And I, we don't wanna put it on all, we wanna put it on over time anyway, you know. But um, anyways, these these dogs here, what they share in common is, um, is uh, you know, being pure on their lines, you know, and Boomer, you know, so she's, a direct granddaughter. They uh, think like uh, let's see, peace. No. So they like great grandchildren of of Boomer. 
but they got it mixed with thug. thug. <coughs> That's what I like about these dogs specifically. I think that give them an edge because <coughs> because not only do they have Boomer running running across their top side. Which mean that's their forefather, you know, they father, 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 you know, boomer running across the top, but they got thug running in the middle and, you know, in between. So, you know, they got producing traits from both lines. So I think they give them on an edge in the production department and it, they usually produce better than themselves. And that's the beauty of it, you know. Once you get dogs that can produce better than themselves or just produce, period, they, damn! Damn, girl. Now you know, you should. get that bow, Maya. Get that bow. You wrong for that. This bitch just grabbed the water. <laughs> this bitch. This bitch did some shit. Grab that bow from her. She didn't did. She didn't pull the fucking move on me, man. She didn't pull that Leo move. That's what Leo. Get that bow from her. She ain't gonna be hard to get it. When she grabs something, dog, it's hard to get stuff out of her mouth. I promise you. It's hard, man. Oh, wait for teeth. Yeah, but she, uh, damn, where was I at, man? We, gonna, we always mop, y'all, so don't think we nasty. We gonna have to mop all this shit. Anytime I put dogs in here, best believe we come through and mop. Because we ain't finna walk in no nasty ass shit. We don't live like that. But, um, Back to what I was, what was I saying for, before Desire interrupt me? Shit, somebody refresh me. I lost my train of thought, hold on. I, oh, oh, yeah, so, yeah, so I was saying, I thought she was about to try to grab my table. So I was saying, um, uh, yeah, once you got dogs that can, um, that can produce, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, it's like a machine, it's like having a, a apple, an apple tree, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to go to the store and buy apples. You already got it, you know? You can just pick from your tree. And so that's the point of getting foundation dogs. Yeah, you make an investment, but you have the tree now. See what I'm saying? So if all goes well, you know, you have a good tree. You have a good source, you know? So that's the benefit of getting dogs like this. Get that bowl, get the other bowl from her, Junior. She cutting up. Get down. She really cutting up for real, y'all. But she don't be acting like this. I swear to God, dog. Her dog food was over there in that corner. I moved it right there for this video. She ain't act like this since she been here. She about to get put up. Get that, get that cover. Damn, y'all giving them all the covers. Here, go put this up. I don't have to wash that. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. So, man, this, boy, this, you, <laughs> God damn, they grab everything. Gotta have everything puppy and dog proof. Let them go in the laundry room. Yeah, so, so uh, when you get a dog that can build your foundation, you know, if, if all goes how it's supposed to go, you got a machine that, that can produce, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you want, man, you know? Some people want the, the best dog, but yeah, that's cool. But if that dog ain't producing, man, now you back looking for more dogs and you back, I'm, I'm trying to get a bull dog, blah, blah, blah. But when you got the machine, and you know how to breed them to get what you're looking for, you know, and you study your blood, you know, you know what to do, and you can just do it over and over and over, you know. So that's what that's the point of getting dog foundation type dogs, you know. It's good to get a little bit of everything. I'm about to look through, about to look through some of these messages. Shout out to Wing Mune. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Damn, Maya. Look at my puppy like that. I'm to put a uh, old girl up. Stop looking at my puppy's mood. Yeah, so that's she, she straight. This is, this was a good bitch, man. She she a, she a bulldog. Good mouth on her. You know, bulldog. I like her. But, uh, Damn, the other one's out there fighting. But yeah, so back to what I was back to the discussion. Get down. Get your ass down. Get your ass down. We don't do that. Ain't no jumping, <laughs> grabbing on tables. We don't get that close to them. Ain't no kissing in the mouth, no grabbing tables. But yeah, so yeah. 
Yeah, these, yeah, these are the type of dogs you build your foundation with. You know, you build your foundation with, cause you want to be able to, uh, you want to be able to keep them traits. You want to be able to produce on your your. Uh, 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 uh. Look, she trying to push the damn bowls down. Ah, uh, you didn't earn yourself. Look, look, look how bad. You didn't earn yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna put you up for a minute. <laughs> put this video. up. <laughs> she really showing out, y'all. Real talk. Cause she normally be be chill. Mm -hmm. I mean, she'll do some shit, but not like that. But yeah, old boy said what I like about Pit Island stuff. Uh, I really don't know about all the Pit Island stuff. I just know about Red Boy Jocko. You know, that's what I call. I don't really call them like Pit Island stuff. I call them Red Boy Jocko dogs. And really, you know, truthfully, it's, it ain't really just Pit Island. It's kind of Sammy the A-Rap. You know, you got you know some people play the back, some people play the front. You know, so y'all gotta re re realize that. You know. A lot of people don't realize it's Sammy the A-Rab thug. Sammy the A-Rab boomer. You know? <coughs> so, shout out to, to both of those uh, individuals. But what I like about the um, the thug dogs, man, you know, they, you know, a lot of time, like, it had a high turnout rate of them turning on, you know, as being, like, on dog, you know, because a lot of guys got dogs, man, they can't even get them to, you can't get them to turn on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't even get them to turn on, so what I like about these mm. shit, I ain't never had to really worry about that per se. Uh, turn it on and all that. Yeah, turn on and turn up. You know. Not to be confused with anything illegal. I mean like, you know, as far as just being active in general. You know, some dogs just just generally ain't active, they're cold, so Shout out to Bill Haskin. Yeah, she gonna be looking different, man. We wormed out, gave her some antibiotics. She keep getting the bath. She been in the house, so she definitely gonna be looking different. You something, Dad? I look, I'm looking at this puppy scratch up the, the chair. Poe Kennel, your message retracted. You must have cussed, man. They got blocks in this uh. You either say something disrespectful or I don't know. You you say something, but it's going to retract certain words. It ain't going to even let let comment, you know. People be saying stupid shit, and then they want you to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with that shit. You know, as you can see, I got kids. You know what I'm saying? And we look at things for the long haul, so. Finally, they take it to the shirt a little bit. I do with my hair. They done broke that dog food up. My my uh, I be selling my puppies for like a a G and up, you know. He he sell one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. <laughs> I sell you for a hundred dollars. I'm playing, but nah, they go for like a G and up. But these ain't a G. How they bred? They ain't a G. They ain't, yeah, like I said, they foundation dogs. They ain't no dogs just to go uh rough up and all that, you know and. <clears throat> Get dirty with and shit, you know. They more on the foundation side. That ain't saying they 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 won't get down and dirty, but you know, <clears throat> you know how that is. I don't really be bringing the male puppy, the puppies by the uh. I don't bring the puppies by their size like that. I had took a picture with a pup with little yellow man. That was little yellow man Junior. I took a picture of him with his side for some damn odd reason. Look look how they didn't got me, y'all. I'm all. If I was light skinned, y'all be able to see it better. Which I am in my face, but not on my arm. But yeah, so they didn't scratch me all up. But yeah, so uh um Yeah, if you got a puppy. Get down, get get your ass down. I got too many puppies. You a puppy too. Yeah, so uh so uh Oh yeah, I don't really bring the the puppies by the uh size, you know what I'm saying? But they they could Leo Leo see Leo he a junk he I ain't gonna say a junk he ain't he won't try to harm him but what he do he be so rough it will harm him if you get what I'm saying like uh, so I didn't bring his pups by him but you know he might try to he might try to like rough him up too much you know like I brought I brought that Labolio male by him one time and he was biting on him pretty hard and Labolio male that's how I knew he had he probably you know was gonna turn out to have heart. Cause you know some puppies will get bit by a bigger dog, and they, and, they, and after that they fall back. They learn they place, but not uh, not uh the pup uh the bolio pup. 
that motherfucker kept coming forward. So I like I liked it that about him. You know, when you out on the road, man, you if you in the country, you know, where anything could come upon you, animal wise, human wise, whatever, you know, you want you want straightforward animals, you know, with you. When I go walking, bro, I'm not scared of no German shepherd running up on me. You know, people talk shit about pit bulls, but pit bulls, they don't, they don't, um, these are real pit bulls. They don't go out and attack people, you know. I don't have no fear of none of my dogs getting loose and going out and mauling a human being. I swear to God. People be talking shit and all this, and but they don't be talking about these dogs. They be talking about those goddamn mutts, man. You know, they not pit bulls. You know, I don't breed dogs. That's, now, my dogs, you know... <clears throat> Most of them won't let you take them, you know what I'm saying? If they don't know you, they're going to bark. And my dogs will let me know if a stranger intruder slash intruder is in the yard. You know, they'll give us time to load up, aim, and then fire, you know, how we supposed to. So with that said, man, with that said, man, um, damn. Man, I was going somewhere. <laughs> I hate when I had them brain farts. I be going somewhere that I... Uh, get caught so uh oh we was talking about the puppies i was saying dino yeah yeah so i don't bring the puppies around these sires like that you know um yeah i like how they took took to the uh took to the shirts after after i wasn't trying to let them take to get it get it shook to it took to it after it got water all on it i didn't mess them up they was just kind of yeah, you gotta once they get to chilling by themselves, that's when they, they they personalities really come out. But they be cutting up, y'all. I mean, cutting up, man. We be like, shut up. Yesterday we did put that video out with little with little red uh showing how she was pregnant or whatever, and um they was going at it, bro. I thought we was gonna have to cut the video off and go make sure everybody good. But it's getting to that point where they gonna they gonna um. If you like stay like that, you know, we'll slowly we'll 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 see who the like alpha. A lot of times it'd be alpha males or alpha females, you know, you gotta get them them the ones you gotta get out first. Cause they that's the ones who really, you know, start a lot of the shit. Get down, uh uh, get down. Y'all got some powerful paws. Scratch my uh chairs up. And then then some of y'all gonna be gone. Yeah, so yeah, we had to put her up, y'all. She she came out. She came out and put all this shit on my flow, and she didn't came out and start cutting up, man. She really showed her ass tonight. Look at Humpty. Humpty doing what he do. Look at him. Look at Humpty. Yeah, I still, I still got that Jip, uh, Joey. I still got her. She she was just she actually just like your little female um the one you got she just like that one except she's uh she was a little bigger so you know which ain't nothing they they size they size is uh change sometimes you know I didn't have one jail. I didn't have one little uh Remy and her sister Bossy Bossy was big as hell as a pup Remy was small but Bossy grew to be small and Remy got big you know so. That's what a lot of people don't realize. People will say, "Oh, puppy peddling this, puppy peddling that," but what they don't realize, um, even even puppies, a puppy is a fair exchange, you know. As long as that puppy ain't sick, ain't got no major sick sicknesses, the puppy, all right, you know, you know that puppy, uh, you know you got, you know it's, you know it's fair game with a puppy. You never know which one the best. Not a, not a breeder, uh. uh the breeder kind of have an idea of which ones probably will be, you know, among the best, and which is, you know, like a 50-50 shot. But when you get a puppy, it's fair game because, you know, one that one person, you know, you might have thought was the best, then when they get older, the one that you didn't like the most, <laughs> it turned out to be the best. So, you know, the puppy thing is actually fair. But what a lot of guys do with the older dogs is they'll keep a whole litter and then they'll sell the trash. So... That's that's you know to me that's more pet pet that's more peddling because they'll sell you the trash and keep the good shit out the litter so you know so I'm uh, I'm just looking at them man I just you know sometimes I I come on here and just you know when I feel like it like I just feel like 
doing a video or something, and I just fuck it, you know. So we gave him a bath and went ahead and brought him inside, man. And uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, y'all, y'all, whoever on this live feed, <coughs> y'all click on um click on Joey Picasso page. Shout out to Joey <coughs> again. <coughs> God damn, I got heartburn. Y'all give me give me a water bottle. <coughs> y'all subscribe to his channel, man. He got a beautiful jip, man. And he uh he spent a lot of time with him, man. And that's what the one thing that's gonna creep. I don't care what dog. What dog you get? I don't care what breed you get, bro. You can take a goddamn <coughs> poodle, a house dog, some other breeds, man. You, if you talk to them and, and, and kind of like and encourage them, man, man their confidence will just build, bro. Next thing you know, they growling and and, and, and and barking at you know dogs ten times their size. So you know, with any bloodline in, in these authentic pit bulls, if you spend time with them, you are gonna increase your chances of them turning out. Um, very, you know, you're gonna increase your chances. Probably, I'll say about you know, you're gonna, you're gonna give yourself an edge, you know, where, where you know, instead of it being like a 50 50 chance, now you got like a, a, six, a 70, 60 70 percent chance of them being good dogs just from the fact that you spent time with them to uh build a uh build a uh you spend time with them, you spend time with them to build a uh. What man? With them goddamn booty shorts on. Stuff <laughs> us straight out of timeout. You going back in timeout. But yeah, so uh <coughs> Damn, where everybody at? There they go. Yeah, so you increase your chances. So y'all go subscribe to Joey uh Picasso. Man, he his dog his dog looking damn good, man. She looking like she looking like one of them dogs where if he keep working with her, he could have her running up, <coughs> running up like you know a tree or something, man. Grabbing something way high up in the air, you know. <coughs> yeah, man. People be talking smack about pit bulls. It be them poodles you need to watch out for. Them poodles will get your ass, boy. Them poodles will get your ass. This one look like about to use it, man. About to use it. Oh, he got. She, I don't know if that's him, but he got distracted. <clears throat> look, look, look. What I say? Not move, man. Move. Got to get this up. I hate when they walk in it, man. I'm trying to get it up, they start walking it. Matter of fact, I got some. <coughs> got this shit up, man. This one thing, you, this one thing you gotta get used to with damn dogs, man. Like somebody, I seen somebody say before, man. You professional pooper. Uh, you're professional uh, poop cleaner. I'm gonna throw it in this bag. Damn dog. Hurry up and get them out of here, man. I ain't trying to do too much of that. They about to start one user, they gonna sniff around. You know, they gonna have they, they'll just go in a frenzy, everybody using it. Plus they just ate. What that mama? What the? What the? What the? What the? You know what one thing I noticed about these dogs, bro? One thing I noticed about them. How they are, how they act, all this is natural. They ain't, everything they doing is natural. They ain't no nothing. People be like, "Yo, you, you training them to, training them to do, <coughs> you training them to be aggressive and all that." Well, they, <coughs> these dogs <coughs> are like naturally, naturally love their masters and they, they owners and humans. You know what I'm saying? And and then a lot of them don't like animals, so that's just how they are. You know. Just like a poodle or I mean just like them house dogs, you knock on the door, they go crazy. You know, every dog has things that trigger them. That's why I know it's about all these dogs. Like her, she likes to bite on bowls, cups, um, like any kind of little cup, um, basketball. She like balls. Uh, football or uh, basketball, she'll pop them. She that's her. 
I got another one, Dark Knight, that mailed off a big country. He likes water. I had a video on him. He was, he was, uh, he was uh, attacking the water. He still do that till his day. But he's a bulldog, you know what I'm saying? And then had Leo. He liked to he grab his bow and he walk around with it. And what else Leo like to do? He liked to fetch and he liked to do. It. Every dog has stuff they like to do. Pervert, pervert, pervert. We gonna name him Perv. Or should we name him R. Kelly? We Slow, but I said I'll do this live anyway. What you think about Eli Blood? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike no, uh, no bloodline. And a lot of bloodlines, what people don't realize, you can refine those bloodlines, and you could, you could lock in on traits out of the bloodlines by, uh, you know, keeping the ones that you like that has the traits you want, and breeding the ones that has the traits you want back into other ones like that, and then you maintain that, and then you establish a bloodline that do the do the things that you want them to do. That's that's what being a breeder is about, is manipulating. <coughs> you can manipulate the gene pool, <coughs> manipulate the gene pool to produce. Uh, damn, I asked them for no water. I ain't get no kind of water. That's sad. That is sad. <coughs> yeah, you manipulate you manipulate the gene pool. You know where you where you come out higher percentage of what you're looking for in the dogs. You know. <clears throat> so let me get my spray 